Alright guys, welcome back again to more Trails from Zero. We finally completed chapter 3 and let me tell you guys that felt like the longest chapter of the other two since, you know? Like I enjoyed it though, it pretty much gave us a lot to take in, especially the new girl Kia that was trapped inside the, the trunk during the Schwartz auction. But I believe she's a doll though because uh, the... Her introduction, her icon said doll, so she couldn't have been human unless it was just meant to uh, subvert our expectations. But otherwise, I find her to be a fun type of character, you know? Like, it was almost expected because we also seen her in the intro. But uh, if anything else, guys, we're going to continue on in Chapter 4 now. So I hope you all continue to enjoy. Thank you again for all love and support. And let's do this. One week passed. The special support section was sheltering Kia at the Triple S building, all the while watching for possible retaliation from the Mafia. Relying on police intelligence and even Yona's vast information network, they carefully monitored the movements of Ravash and Speaker Hartman. On the other hand, Kia, despite her memories not returning, quickly settled into her new life at the special support section. And then... うち状況そもそも つまり<笑> ゴーヒンすら扱う闇の何よりも how is it trespassing when we were invited? We have the invitation, the card. <笑>偶然保護した少女の扱いもこちらに全てを任せるそうだ。その代わり、この件については自分たちの主張を認めろ。<笑> 
キーアのことを考えると曖昧にはしたくはないですけどあの子がこれ以上マフィアに狙われないことが確約されただけでも納得すべきかもしれませんねああ俺もそう思うま問題なのは肝心のあの子の素性なんだがええ名前以外にはマジで何も覚えてねえみてえだからなしかしまあとんでもなく明るいというか人懐っこいガキンチョだよななんかあっという間に俺たち全員に懐いちまったし<笑>確かにサイトはもちろん課長も懐かれましたよねまあな俺はタバコを吸うからあんまり子供には近寄られねえんだが全然気にしてなさそうだったなお嬢やティオスケなんかももう夢中って感じみたいだし今日なんかデパートから服を山ほど買ってきてたぜ<笑>こういう時は女性陣がいてくれて助かるよ俺たちじゃどうしても行き届かないところもあるしそれにしても本当にどこの子なんだろうままだとどんな服かわからないんだけどあそっかじゃーんねえねえ似合う ?I think it suits her へえほうほうふんどうああかわいいよすごくキーヤに似合ってるぞ課長も可愛いと思うおお<笑>可愛い可愛いうん悪くないな<笑>早速お披露目してるみたいねまだいろいろと着てほしかったんですけどエリーティオロイドたちが可愛いって<笑>よかったわねまあロイドさんならキーアがどんな服を着てても可愛いと言いそうですけどそんなことはまああるかもしれないけど<笑>親バカ丸出しだなしかしキーボーが来てまだ1週間しか経ってねえのかなんだか信じられないわねそういえば警察本部からの連絡は結局どうだったんですか何でもルバーチェの方から打診があったとかああそれなんだがランチの時にでもおいおい説明させてもらうよなるほど一応マフィアの心配はなくなったみたいですねただ根本的な問題は残ったままですかああ完全にこっちに丸投げされた形になったなとにかく肝心なのは記憶と素性についてだけどナーキーややっぱり何も思い出せないかうーん全然ロイドが口をポカンと開けて目をまん丸にしてたのなら覚えてるけどガッグそれは1週間前初めて会った時の話だろだってその前のことは何にも覚えてないんだもんそっかま覚えてないってんなら仕方ねえやな It's like she imprinted on Lloyd because she was the, he was the first person she saw too 各方面への問い合わせはどうなっているんでしょうああそれなんだが駅や空港門にも問い合わせだが今のところ該当者はなしのようだ
少々難航するかもしれんなそうですかうんどうしたのロイドお腹でも痛い<笑>大丈夫だよ課長今日の午後からなんですけどキーアを連れて外に出ても構わないでしょうか、うん、何か心当たりがあるのああ一度遊撃士協会を頼ってみようかと思ってさえ本気ですか遊撃士なるほどな連中は大陸各地にギルドの支部を持っているその情報も当てにしてみるかええ頼れるものはこの際頼っておくべきかとダメでしょうかまいいんじゃねえか警察とギルドは別に対立してるわけじゃねえわだかまりがあるとしたらむしろこちらの方だからな案件が案件だし協力を要請すれば向こうも断ったりはしねえだろうええそう思いますまエステルちゃんたちとはこの前結構打ち解けられたしな確かに相談するにはちょうどいい機会かもしれないわねでもロイドキーアちゃんを連れていくってあなた一人で連れていくつもりそのつもりだけど全員で行くほどのことじゃないし俺一人で十分かと思うんだけど納得いかないわねただでさえ一番懐かれてるのにさらに独り占めしようだなんてえロイドさんはずるいですこの子と接する機会は均等であるべきではないかと Only a weekend and already she affected the whole party Like they all wanna be with her I mean, yeah, she's adorable, so I can't blame them. Eh, to, what の話だ Ha 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 だったら諦めるけどい,いや迷惑ってことはないけどさちょっとロイド何を冷たくしているのよあんなことがあったばかりなんだからまだ不安かもしれないじゃない一緒に寝てあげるくらいの解消は欲しいところですね俺にどうしろと<笑>ま当分は一緒にいてやれやそれから外出だが念のためもう一人連れて行けルバーチェからの打診はあったが一応用心した方がいいだろうなっわかりました気をつけておきますあっ、oh, インターミッションキア Who would Okay Who should Lloyd and Kia travel with? Tio, Randy, Ellie. Well, I mean, I'm always gonna pick Ellie. I wanna pick Randy though. Actually, I wanna pick all of them, but I can't. So. Sate to. So it's a. Higashi Dori ni ある Yugekishi Kyokai ne. Amari yori michi wa shinai hou ga ii no ka shira. Iya. Kia no kyoku ga modoru. Kikkake ni naru ka mo shire nai. Yojin wa hitsuyo da kedo. Gildo ni itta kaeri kurai nara. よりみちもいいんじゃないかななるほどそれもそうねキーアちゃんそれじゃあ行きましょうかうんでどこに行くのうん遊撃士協会ってところだけどひょっとしてわからないかな遊撃士それってもしかして正義の味方みたいな人たちなんだ知ってるのかそのくらいの一般常識は覚えてるってことなのかなええそうみたいねへへへなんで行くか知らないけどロイドとエリーが一緒ならキーは別にどこでもいいよなあ,あもうなんでこんなに可愛いのそれじゃあレッツ
Let's go! She used her special sparkle smile, man. No one can resist. Alright, as usual guys, for every new chapter, even this one, I'm gonna check if I can feed that cat. Is he there? Oh, he's there. I got a lot now. How about, uh... Pearl glass. Ooh, hit one. He wants to keep this? Thanks, Kope. Where in the world did you find this, though? Alright, nice, nice, nice. Well, she should have her own room now, too, right? Looks like you already settled into your new room. I still gotta show you all my pretty clothes. Ellie and Tia went and bought me a whole bunch of them. Good idea, Kia. Besides, I still want to have a little more fun planning all of your outfits. Like this blouse, for example. N no, that's fine. We can save it for a rainy day. We got some work to take care of. Besides, we'd probably be here for hours. Still, this room turned out pretty well. Cleaning and dusting everything took a long time, but the furniture Ellie found looks great. Doesn't it? Not bad for mainly being old things from my home. I did feel a little bad, though. This is much my parents' furniture, so it's all much too big for little Kia. Don't worry about it. They're perfect. So once we figure out Kia's identity, we'd have to send her back to her parents. But until then, I want to make Kia feel at home here. What is this? Is that a picture? Alright, well, that was cool. Let's head on down. I also want to check out the weapons, uh... Store. Zayt, we're gonna leave for a bit. You be a good boy and watch the house, okay? Sounds like we've got the green light then. The orbital ter terminal's power is off. Was the maintenance for the department's terminal line scheduled for today? Yes, I believe Fran mentioned that. Apparently she got the day off since she can't get much work done without the orbital network. <laughs> well, it's not like we'll be able to work much either. Cool, cool. Well, I check anyway. I wonder if it's this chapter or another, the next one that we get new weapons. Oh, sorry about that pause, guys. I sneezed a oh, big sneeze. Alright, let's see. No, it's all the same still. Maybe it's the next chapter. それはないけど。でも、これでも記念祭の時よりは人手は少ないんだけどな。やっぱり黒滑り氏の出身じゃないのかしら。あれれ。大きな鉄の箱がぶわーって通ってたよ。あれは車だよ。<笑> 
なあそれじゃあ行こうか東通りに出ましょう Alright, hold on a second. If anything, can I. Yes, we. Oh, we can't go everywhere, but that's fine. I do know we have another. Back alley Glen here. Inside General Store Tallies. Like, really? How on earth? How? Cross Bell and Times, sure. Alright, now hold on a second, let me check something. No, we're looking for. Alright, here we go. Back alley, Dr. Glenn, we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, we really spotted them. I forgot how many there are in total, though, but at least we're collecting them and we're not missing any one of them out because we're going to need it for later when we get our final weapons. Or at least one of these characters, their final weapons. I believe there's also what you call quests for us to do here. Not a lot, but some. So we're going to take care of that first and then we'll finally head over to the bracers. Also, why not add more points, right? It appears your combat notebook is coming along. Please come show it to me once you've gathered a bit more data. I recorded in our database. Oh, hello everyone. It's good to see you. Wow, you're really pretty, miss. What did Randy say again? Oh yeah, you're a total knockout. Oh, you really think so? <laughs> I'm flattered. You're just adorable as the rumors say you are. Yeah, she's great. At any rate, we've come to an informal settlement with Ravash regarding the situation. That doesn't mean you can rest easy, though. Watch each other's backs out there, okay? Stay safe. Yeah, got it. We should sure take extra care. By the way, a monster in need of extermination appeared in Geofront's A2 sector today. I haven't been able to send an info on it yet, as our terminal is under maintenance. We've heard that this monster is fairly dangerous, so please be sure to exercise caution. Wait a second. Hold on. So, alright, I knew that we'd have a quest, but I did not think it would just be us, though. Right, hold on a second. I mean, if that's the case, right? Hold on, let's go there now. It's a geofront sector, right? Oh my god, it's here already. It's like another giant mosquito. Uh, how are we on? Uh, we don't have any CP. Do I want to go to a hotel? Do I have items for this? Hold on. Let, let me check. Battle scope, cure bomb. Alright, let me check something here. Restores, cures burn. Ultimate mix. The ultimate juice made from a mix of the best ingredients. It restores 40% HP. Fry 10%. Alright, so here's the deal. Let's go save first. And then we'll do it from here. We'll just see if we can do it. If not, I am gonna just rest at a hotel, get my CP back going, and then rock it from there. Let's do it. Since I don't have any CP, we'll rock it with uh, a battle scope. What shall we against? Fire. Oh, perfect. Golden Cricket. This giant golden insect causes a cacophony to wear down its prey. 
That's fine. Whatever. We can handle that. Now... Bacteria cures ailments. Put all stats down. Phone down. Wind. Evasion plus 50%. Why didn't I use this before? Beautiful. Hell yeah. Okay, now, with that said, we're gonna start... I should use this. But... There's a big but. I got critical going for me too. Ah, but I don't have enough of anything. What's this? Art Reflect, Chrono Drive. We can increase our speed. <sighs> Screw it. Let's go. Yeah. So I'm talking about miss. Oh, yes. Okay. Eh. Alright, now we're going to do a little bit of a holy bullet so that we can restore our CP. Me Not a lot, but... Yes! Okay. Alright, alright. I think... We should do you in. Yes! I don't have five. What now? Hold on. What? What's your thing again? Earth. All no. Five. Water is your next one. Do I have any water arts? That is. Nope. That's not. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you're gonna get affected either way by everything. So sure. Ooh, powerful. All right. Ah, uh, attack you. Nice. Oh, that's powerful. Miss. Okay, you know what? I like this. Actually, I'm not even worried about that right now. Let's go do another spark dime. And then, when I'll Magna Blaze your face! That's fine, that's fine, we can take that. Look at that, we did it. New material again. Beautiful. Alright, let's get out of here. Can we... Actually, hold on. Yeah, we came from here. Let me heal up. Perfect. Now we're getting out of here at long last. I honestly thought that thing was going to one-shot us if we weren't careful. But surprisingly enough, we did it. Probably also because it was just the two of us. Right, let me super save again. No. Alright, so next floor, next place over, sorry. I'm gonna uh, check out the administrative district of City A Hall. Because there's also another thing here for us. I think there's like two in total for uh, the intermission. Hi, officers, thank you so much for helping us out the other day. 
the saint's prayer continues to stand tall in all its majesty. It was not allowed to ever be stolen again. Crossbell State Government City Hall Administrative District. You have no reason to go inside there. Or we could speak to Mr. McDowell. You're here, Ellie. Ah, good to see you too, Lloyd. Hello, Grandfather. I'm, um, I'm sorry that I haven't had the time to contact you lately. And I wanted to thank you for helping us out with that incident. Your getting involved really saved us. I don't know how we can repay you. Don't worry about that. It was no problem at all, really. All I did was demand a detailed explanation from any Diet member involved with the auction. That's not true, Grandfather. It's because of what you did that you were able to put a stop to the Speaker's actions. At any rate, you have our gratitude, sir. I don't think that's necessary. After all, it's the least I could do for you after you saved my life. If anything, I should be thanking you. Hmm. Putting that aside for a moment, is this the young lady I've been hearing all about? Ah, yes. Her name's Kia. Nice to meet you, Gramps. Your face looks cool. It's filled with white hair. Cool, you say. <laughs> what an amusing young lady. She's bright and cheery, yet she has a mysterious charm to her. Are you looking into her identity? I heard about the memory loss. Yes, for the time being. We also intend to request the Bracer Guild to aid in this, in this investigation. Hmm, sounds like you're exploring multiple avenues. Hopefully, your extended search leads to good results. Feel free to consult with me if you run into any trouble. My door is always open to all of you. I may be a doddering old mayor who's bound to cease his obligations, but I will not overlook this matter, nor will I overlook the fools that intended on bringing harm to any innocent child. Grandfather. Thank you for the kind words, sir. We can always use the encouragement. <laughs> you really are super cool, Gramps. May I have a moment of your time, Mayor McDowell? Hmm. W what's he doing here? Speaker Hartman? Do you need something, Hartman? As you can see, I'm busy with guests. My most sincere apologies. I have some pressing concerns to discuss with you. I'd like you to re-examine the Imperial Government's proposal. We already spoke of this. I understand your point, but I'd like you to consider my position. Or do you intend to take advantage of the situation to conspire with Campbell and his men? Perish the thought. I have no intention of siding with the Republican faction, nor do I intend with the Imperial faction. Fine then. Let's see you demonstrate that balanced approach of yours. Ruining my humble party has been a detriment for the entire state. I'd love to hear your plan to reverse the damages. It seems I do need to have another discussion with you after all. I'm sorry everyone, I know you came all the way out here to visit me, but I have an important matter to discuss with Speaker Hartman. Hartman. Oh no, it's alright, there's no need to apologize. I'll see you again, Grandfather. See you again, Gramps. The mayor is stuck between a rock and a hard place, huh? Right. It's a scene I've seen countless times over. It's reprehensible. How can the man re responsible for hosting the Schwarz auction be so shameless? It's a testament to his confidence that the entire situation won't end up affecting him. He's even more brutal than the Mafia in some ways. Hey, Lloyd. Mr. Gramps ju isn't just cool. He's really strong too, huh? Strong? What makes you say that? Well, that snobby old guy brought all of his friends, right? Didn't he bring them because he thought he'd lose if he, if he faced Gramps alone? When you put it that way... Yes, I think I see what you mean. The Speaker's henchmen seem to be influencing members of the Imperial faction. Maybe rookies like us don't need to worry about someone as experienced as the Mayor after all. I still wish you could find a way to help him though. If only. Ah, you're back. So, um, what happened in the mayor's office? Um... Are you referring to... It's just, I saw Speaker Hartman storm into the mayor's office with all his cronies. I've seen it happen plenty of times, but for some reason, this time seemed a bit more serious. Oh, that. Honestly, I'm just worried as you, but... He's my grandfather, so I know he'll be fine. I see. It's an unfortunate situation, but employees in City Hall are sadly powerless at times like these. I wish there was something we could offer the mayor as a token of our appreciation. Honestly, we feel the same way. Yeah, why don't we give Graham something nice? How about we treat him to something tasty that he likes? Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. 
I'm sure he would love to indulge in his favorite food. What a great idea. I'm sorry for putting this on you, and it's fine if you don't have the time, but would you be willing to go out and buy the mayor's favorite drink? You should be able to purchase it at the juice stall near the fountain. Yeah, no problem. A task that simple isn't a bar to us. On that note, do you happen to know what the drink in question is? I'm not entirely sure, but I heard it's not on the menu. I believe they sell a few secret items. The clerk should have no problems helping you out with it. Sounds like a plan then. We'll go to the juice stall near the fountain and see what we can do. Yay, let's go! Another secret mission. But not so secret because we already knew. Alright, they say by the fountain. Huh, that's strange. Wasn't the juice stall around here before? I could have sworn it was by the fountain. Yeah, sure, definitely not imagining it. Do you think they relocated? Ah, does that mean we can't bring Grams a drink? No, I don't think they would have moved it outside the city. Let's go have ourselves a look around the city for it. I'm sure we'll find it sooner or later. Okay. Alright, now where to go is the question. Well, I mean, the juice stand could be anywhere else. It, could, it can't be outside the town anyway. So, let's check. Nope. And then we'll probably head eastward afterwards. Wow, okay. <laughs> right here. Welcome. Come for a refreshing drink? Look, it's the juice lady. You're usually set up around the fountain in the administrative district, right? Well, yes, but I like to switch things up every now and then. I think beats a little change of scenery, with the exception of paying customers, of course. What would you like? Actually, they explained that they dropped by to pick up the mayor's usual order. Oh, I see. You're here on the behalf of the mayor. In that case, give me a minute to whip up his favorite. Here you go. Acerbic tomato shake. What is this? I do know that my grandfather loves bitter flavors, but... This is a bit much. This particular shake is great for relieving fatigue, but it, w but it was way too bitter for most people, so we took it off the menu. It's a secret menu item now. You know, I made extra. Would you like to give it a taste? Uh, well... <laughs> Alright, we'll give it a shot. Okay, just a sip though. Ugh, I guess it won't hurt to try. And I am curious to why Grandfather enjoys it as much as he does. Nervously, Lloyd and Ellie put samples of the acerbic tomato shake to their lips and took a little sip. A liquid bitter as death slowly crawled down their throats. <gasps> what? <laughs> wow, I've never felt this. Ugh, refreshed before, but the taste though. This intense bitterness must be an acquired taste. I know, right? Oh, I want to try it too. Kia grabbed what was left of the acerbic tomato shake and put the straw in her mouth. Wait, stop! Don't do it, Kia! Ah, so good. Did she just finish it off? She made it look like it was nothing. Huh? Why? It's a little bitter, but it's still really good. Well, as long as you like it, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting little girl. Anyway, thanks for everything. I'm sure the mayor will be happy too. Oh, and we'll pay you for our samples. How much do we owe you? No, don't worry. It's on the house today. The mayor's a regular here, and I'm so thankful for his continued patronage after all. Give him this shake as a token of my gratitude, okay? You sure? Alright then. Thank you. We'll make sure to pass along the kind words too. Got that for free, and our CPs are restored? I wish we did this sooner. Alright. Heading back. Oh no, I, I passed it, wow. <laughs> I thought we were going to, I thought I skipped the library, that's why. <laughs> excuse us. For crying out loud, what a stubborn old man. How dare he refuse to propose that our glory speaker went to great lengths to write up. Well, no matter. We succeeded in proving our point. We'll prepare the usual to deal with Campbell and his men. 
Our real problem right now is Ravash. Those incompetent fools. My thoughts exactly, sir. I think a friendly reminder of how your efforts alone brought them fame and successes in order. Heh, <laughs> indeed. I think I'll refrain from meeting with Marconi for a while. See how he likes dealing with things on his own. More importantly, we need to hold a meeting later tonight. From all the members of the Imperial faction, I'll have every single one of them in attendance. Right away, sir. We'll issue an emergency meeting. Oh, so that's where they go. Ah, <sighs> they're finally out of the mayor's hair. Let's take this chance to get grandfather's drink. Pardon us, sir. We've been bar we've been barging into your office more often these days. Ah, it's good to see you again. My apologies for earlier. No need to apologize, sir. We understand you have a lot to deal with. Is everything alright, Grandfather? I'm fine, thank you. Finding out that degree of persistence from them has almost become a part of my daily routine by now. By the way, is something the matter? Have you come back to retrieve something you've forgotten? No, sir. Actually... Hey, Kia. Go ahead and give it to him. Okay. Kia handed the, special, the specially made acerbic tomato shake over to Mayor McDowell. Oh, why if it isn't my favorite drink? Did you go out of your way to purchase this for me? Yep, we got it just for you. You look like we've been, you've been working really hard, Gramps. Oh my. Yeah, the receptionist suggested we order this for you. The clerk that runs the juice stall was nice enough to give, give it to us for free too. Is that so? So, this is a special gift from all of you to this old man, hmm? Thank you, Lloyd and Ellie, and I can't forget dear little Kia too. I feel completely rejuvenated now. Thanks to you, I'll be able to work hard through the afternoon. Don't use this as an excuse to overwork yourself, Grandfather. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I have something to give you in return for the pleasant treat. Oh, what you got for us now? Mayor McDowell retrieved a small package from beneath the shelf. Take this medicinal herb I received from a friend in the Republic. I've heard it's quite valuable. It's just a small token of my appreciation. Oh, it's your amp powder. Th there's no way we could possibly ever accept this. Nonsense, I have no use for it. It makes perfect sense for you to take it. You're constantly putting yourselves in the face of danger. Please, I insist. Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> we'll gladly accept it, Grandfather. Thank you, Gramps. The treat for the mayor is now completed. Alright, that's two of them. I believe that's all, if anything. Alright. Alright guys, so if anything, this feels like a good stopping point for now. I'm going to end it here for today. Thank you all for watching. We got to taste a little bit of what the town feels about Kia. And they kind of like her already. They, you know, she's a little cute girl after all. You can't really dislike her anyway. She's too friendly. But if anything else, we'll continue on in the next one. So thank you all for watching.